Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tales from the JS. This is your host, Edward Locatello, and today we're gonna see how to export a QJS project for the web using WebGL and its awesome library for JS. So let's see how we can do this. We will use the result of a tutorial we have seen before about on hail shading and uh, DTM. What we are gonna do now is to install a new plugin. And we are gonna install QJS to FreeJS. So let's search FreeJS. Okay, install the plugin. And we are done. So now. We have the, the scene here. This is a 3D re representation of the terrain uh, from the north of Italy. Okay, now zoom in into the area of interest. Click web, QGIS to 3GIS and QGIS to 3GIS exporter. Now we have the zone of the screen we are focused on exported in a 3d viewer and we can change some settings okay we can have the map extent canvas so the the area we are working on on the scene we can set the sky as a color or a solid color if we want. If we set black, we will get a black screen. We can get set sky as background. And the coordinate display will be map coordinates, latitude and longitude or none if we want. The interesting thing is from the light and effects tab, we can set the fog, we can set the light from above the camera or um, a directional light, so we have uniform lighting. The fog, we can set the color, the density, and we can change the material type. I really like the tool material. The Lambert one is the most common and it will give you a uh, flat shading mainly. Uh, foam material instead is uh, kind of glossy. I really like the two material, and we can also have the outline effect, which is really nice when you uh, tilt the map. You will get the the contours of the things you have in the map. So okay. Now we may want to add some animation, so click camera motion, click the plus, and we will um, get a new keyframe. We can now rotate a little bit and use another keyframe again and again, and we can set it as a loop. Let's take a brief review of the animation. And it's quite nice. You can set the keyframes to perfectly loop, but it's not uh, mandatory. Now we have a 3D setup for the scene. Obviously, you can add more points, line, poly polygon, and point clouds to export. Actually, we have only a, a layer, so it's just an example, but you can experiment with uh, more types and we want to click file export to web and we want to enable the viewer to run, run locally at the moment but you can uh, uncheck it if you want also you can set the template as for the viewer or mobile and it's experimental so now we're going to use the traditional 3D viewer. You can set the animation, the narrative, if you want. Uh, you can also add the notes if you like, but it's okay. I like this. You can change the page title, but at the moment we will uh, set everything as it is. 
click export the scene is to the scale one so it's not exaggerated everything has been exported to the temporary directory and we can click on the web file to have a brief preview of what happening here we can stop and now we can browse the the whole uh, scene we have exported it really it is really nice for database we can also have some information here and can also ch change the opacity of all the layers and so on so it's a really nice plugin to have to show your projects in a 3d scene thank you for listening remember to click the like button to subscribe and see you to the next episode